Here we are working with Scarlet, the eight month old Doberman. And what we're doing here is some focus building exercises. We're keeping the treat in our hand and we want her to focus on us and not on the hand. So what we'll do is we'll keep our fist closed. If she nuzzles at it and pokes at it and tries to get it, then she does not get that reward. Only when she backs up, gives us some space and focuses on us, will we give her that reward. As you can see, I'll put a treat in both of my hands and let her sniff between hand to hand, let her poke at it, and she does not get it. As soon as she stops and makes eye contact with me, then I'll reward her. Now I will take a treat in both hands and put them behind my back, which will force her to make eye contact with me. And as soon as she does, I'm just going to reach back and reward her. And if she begins to struggle like she does here in a second and kind of loses focus of what we're doing, wants to try something else other than what I want, then we're just going to be patient and wait for her to self-correct like she did just there. Now we're going to move into teaching the down position. We're going to lure her down into that position. And then when she does go down, I'm just going to give her the reward. Now, since she caught onto the down position so easy, I'm going to work on her duration in that down position. So I'm gonna get her to go down and then I'm gonna wait for her to give me eye contact before I give the reward. Now here, she gets out of the down position and then goes and tries to nuzzle my hand in order to get that treat. But we're just gonna wait for her to sit or give me a behavior that I want and then I'm gonna reward her. Now here we're gonna work the down command again. And you can see that she begins to struggle a little bit and does not go down. And that's because she knows that the hand I'm trying to lure her with does not have a treat. And she is still accustomed to following that hand with that reward in that. And that's what we're working to get her off of. Back again to working on her focus, treats in both hands. She's looking back and forth between both. She's not making eye contact, so I kind of nod my head forward to help her a little bit with that process. Now she goes into the down position on her own, which is great. I'm going to reward her for that. I'm going to work on her focus while she's in that down position now. Put a treat in both my hands, let her look between each hand, and then finally look back to me for direction. And that's when I reward her. I put them in my hands, hold my hands out a little bit further. It's a little more of a distraction. Wait for that eye contact and reward her. Here we're working some more on the uh, focus. We're going to put our hands behind our back, wait till she gives us eye contact and reward her. We're going to put her into the sit position here. Uh, she struggled a little bit, so I helped her up there. Just let her know what we want. And now I'm going to put my hand down and she's going to immediately lunge for my hand to try to get the reward, but I'm going to pull it back. I don't want her immediately taking what's in my hand unless I give it to her. So I want her to know that the hand down is not an invitation to just take it. I want her to wait until I give her an open hand and hand her the treat. Okay, back to working the down command, uh, but this time we're going to toss a treat away from her. Make more of a game of what we're doing now so that it does not become monotonous for her. So we're gonna to toss the treat away, let her run and go get it. And then as soon as she gets it, I'm gonna call her back to me and then ask for a sit. As soon as she does, I'm gonna reward her. Now this time when I call her back to me, I'm gonna ask her to lay down. And you'll see that she does struggle a little bit and doesn't go down. But rather than constantly repeating myself over and over again, I wait it out and I'm patient with her. I'll ask her two, maybe three times, and then she just goes down on her own. Thanks for watching, everyone. We will continue to work these focus building exercises and teaching of basic commands to Scarlett throughout her board and train. Once she becomes a little faster with following of these commands, then we'll start to challenge her, put her in a new environment, ask of these same commands around other dogs, take her outside of the home, into a public location where there's lots of other things going on that will distract her, but yet still teach her to focus on us in all environments.